Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the bile. So we have three lectures about the bile. First, the composition of the bile, then the function of the bile, and in last we will discuss about the secretion of bile. Let's go through the composition of the bile. As we know that the bile mainly composed of two things. The water portion and solid portion. Solid or solute portion. Water is further divided into two according to the concentration of the water. That is liver in liver and in gallbladder. In liver the concentration is up to 97% while in the gallbladder that 92% why this concentration is different we will discuss later and solid has further two it is organic organic and inorganic portion in organic inorganic is simple composed of potassium ions sodium ions chloride ions bicarbonate ions these are the inorganic portion and the organic consists of bile salts bile acid cholesterol cholesterols phospholipid phospholipids fatty acids lecithin These are the organic portion of the bile. The concentration is different of these organic portions. And there is bile salts and bile acids. They are 0.7% bile salts, 0.5% uh, bile acids, 0.2% also containing bilirubin. Bilirubin one of the most important complement bilirubin and it's up to 0.2 percent the rest of these things 0.5 percent so this is the composition of the bile so let's go through the difference in concentration of the water Here I want to tell um, some important points that uh, our liver, the capacity or the potential of the liver to produce bile, so liver produces bile, produces bile that is 6600 um, to 1000 milliliter per day and its potential to produce bile acids or bile salts bile salts or bile acids the composition that is 6 uh, 6 gram per day it has the potential to produce 6 gram of bile salts and bile acids per day. Later on this bile uh, get stored in gallbladder and the capacity of the gallbladder to store the capacity 
of gallbladder restored bile is up to 30 to 60 milliliter of bile it can store 30 to 60 ml of bile So let's go through the difference in composition of the concentration of water in liver and gallbladder. So first of all, I will make liver. Suppose it's all liver. And uh, left and right loops. This I made here left and right hepatic ducts which will join with the cystic duct and this is the gallbladder and then move down this duct is called common bile duct so this is our liver these are the two right and left hepatic ducts this is cystic duct this is the gallbladder and liver liver containing hepatocyte cells so these are hepatocyte cells these are the hepatocyte cells bile is produced by these hepatocyte cells after the production of the bile in the liver by these hepatocyte cells the liver trickle down through small ductules and these ductules joined and form left and right hepatic ducts so they will join over here this is the network of ducts so here for example these are the bites produced here so these are the bites produced in the hepatocytes in hepatocytes the bile produced by the liver cells we call as primary bile so it will be called as primary bile primary bile after the synthesis of bile it starts to move down through these smaller ductules travel down these are the bites moving down if they are required for the process of digestion they move downward to the duodenum if it is not required it will stored in the gallbladder gallbladder so what happens in these pathways as we know that these smaller ductules and these duct they are permeable to water and permeable to bicarbonate ions and also permeable to certain uh, certain ions so they will start a release or secrete ions So I will meet here in the ductules. What happened in the ductules? For example, I made here. This is the epithelial lining of the small ductules. These are the 
bitte jetzt jetzt. Small epithelial cells. What they do? These epithelial cells are permeable to water and salts, as I told. So, whenever the primary bile starts moving down through these ductules, for example, these are the biles moving down. It also can it also have concentration of the water. And it also have cholesterol, lecithin, bilirubin, everything it has. But the main function of the cell is that it aid it few water and bicarbonate ions under the action of specific hormones CCK, cholecystokinin. They start to releasing water and carbonate bicarbonate ions they secrete it for example they start to secrete secrete water droplets so these are the water molecules as it also containing few amounts of water molecules but here the water is added few amount of water is added and also added bicarbonate ions and sodium ions so what happened so here the concentration of the water in the bile is 97 percent so this bile now we called a secondary bile secondary bile after this when it reach to the gallbladder it will stored for appropriate period of time and what happened in the gallbladder so here For example, these are the membrane of the gallbladder. So these are the cells. What they do? Whenever the bile reach are here, whenever the bile reach are here, the epithelial or the endothelial or the lining of the gallbladder starts to reabsorb the water molecules and few ions from the bile so they do reabsorption of water molecules and it will also secrete it into the blood capillaries and then to the blood so here reabsorption of the water is Add it out and here the secretion or addition of the water molecules to the bile is carried out so this bile has different concentrations at different level here it containing 97 percent of water and here it contain due to the reabsorption the water concentration becomes low down and it goes to 92 percent so we may say that the concentration we may say that the bile is more concentrated more concentrated in gallbladder
then in the liver why because here the water composition water uh, concentration is 92 percent and here the uh, concentration is 97 percent so hold this thing about in the bile uh, production and uh, the process of reabsorption and the process of secretion so let's uh, have a quick riff review that here in the liver the hepatocyte cells starts or synthesize bile this bile starts moving down to the smaller ductules and these ductules combine and form a, a left a left and right a hepatic ducts which joint uh, to the cystic duct if the bile is required it will store uh, if it will store or it is uh, released to the duodenum so what happened in the smaller ductules the epithelial lining of the ductules starts to releasing water molecules and bicarbonates under the action of certain hormones and it will uh, increases the concentration of the water up to 97 percent and whenever it reach into the gallbladder the gallbladder endothelial lining of the gallbladder it will start reabsorbing water molecules so the concentration of the water molecule become uh, fall down from 97 to 92 percent so here the bile is more concentrated here the bile is less concentrated so hope you understand